Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Last time, we went to the Centro Ruins, got our hands on the Tonberry GF, and also we got Odin to join our team to help us out with random battles every once in a while. This time, we're going to continue our side quest journey to the town of Windhill. If you recall, the town of Windhill was in the Laguna flashback. So this should be fun, and wow, we're actually starting at this end of town. Uh, I actually didn't want to start at that end of town. I wanted to start at the entrance of the town, not the, not all the way into the middle of town. So we're going to start off with a random battle instead. Hey, look, a blood soul. We fought this bitch before. I wonder if he has any new spells now that we're leveled up. Okay, I guess we'll never know because we're going to get our first look at Odin. Maybe this is like a default thing, like your first battle when you get Odin. No, that, that can't be true, because if that was the case, I would have got him on a freaking Tonberry battle. Then again, he may, maybe he never shows up against Tonberries. I don't know. That's what Odin does, by the way. There you go. Now you've seen it. Zantetsuken! That's pretty much his move, and he just destroys all enemies. That's pretty much what Odin has done since the beginning of time. That hasn't changed. Not one bit. This is the end of town I wanted to start on, and why are there already seeds here? Hey, youngsters, what can we do for you? We're mercenaries hired by this town. You better not mess with us. Plus, we graduated from Garden, you know. Bitch, I'm from Garden. You don't even know right now. I brought a whole Garden here. Huh? You're Garden students too? And you're really you're actually a seed? <laughs> so that makes you our junior. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, fuck that. Um, fuck you guys. I'm not even talking to you ever again. Sure. What do you got? Um, Not a whole lot just stuff we already got so I'm good they asked if we wanted to play a game does that mean a game of cards oh cool what kind of rules do they use in this region ah 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 not the plus rule oh, I hate the plus rule I hate it I'm not even gonna play people in this region fuck that all right so here's the hotel let's check it out hotel motel holiday and there's actually somebody in here unlike the flashback it's really a slow here. It's really slow here during the afternoon. The day goes by really fast if you just sit around here. Yeah? Well, maybe I should do that. There's not even a freaking attendant here. Can we just stay here for free? And now one thing you would think would be in this town is a mother freaking Timber Maniac magazine, but I don't think there is one. I'm only double check my notes real quick. I didn't mark one down. I guess that doesn't mean there isn't one. It just means I don't have one written in my notes. Anyway, there's not one in this room, I tell you what. Yeah, it would actually make sense for there to be a Timber Maniacs magazine here. If Laguna was the freaking editor or whatever, or, you know, he wrote a story about this place, you'd think there would be an issue here. It would make sense. But I guess there's a chance there isn't one, so there's that. Anyway, here's some lady. Hey, lady. Wow, I've never seen you kids around here before. What brings you here? Just hanging out? You know. There used to be a flower shop in the town square. It was owned by a woman named Rain. She lived there with a little girl named Malone. Rain was so good with flowers, she made wreaths for our harvest festivals. Her wreaths of white flower were most beautiful. We'll never see wreaths like that again. Malone was so adorable, wearing those wreaths over her head and prancing around like an angel. Oh, it was the O's were the days. By the way, we don't know what actually happened to Rain. Like, from the flashback, she seemed fine to me, and if and. Well, I guess we don't know much about Lagoon either. If you, for all we know, Lagoon is dead too. So, I guess that's, there's that. Anyway, this is the Chocobo Crossing. Hit the Chocobo! Yeah! Got him. And apparently we got him to drop a feather or something. So we'll go ahead and pick that up whenever it gently floats to the ground. Pick it up, please. I'm trying to pick it up. There you go. What's this? Boom! A vase piece. So there's actually a side quest here. We haven't activated it yet, but we can still work on it. Um, we have to collect all the vase pieces. There's three, five, four of them in all. Um, I'm going to get them all. But as for the chocobos running by, I believe if we hit them three times, they'll drop three items. One being the vase piece. Even though this looks like another vase piece, this should be something else. Ch Guys all greens. Yay. And one more time. Huh. We're going to get you, little fucking chocobo. I guess these aren't full-fledged chocobos, they're chickabos, because they're babies. They're baby chokies. They're chickies. And I forgot what this item is, but it's a pretty good item if I remember correctly. It's... A phoenix down. No, it's not. No, it's not. If I go to the menu right now, that is not a phoenix down. 
Yep, it's a Phoenix Pinion. When used in battle, dot, dot, dot. When you use that in battle... Oh, you know what I want to do real fast while I'm here? Combat King, sorry. I should have already learned this before, but I, I just thought about it right now. Anyway, um, if you use it in battle, what it actually does is it'll revive all your party members using the Phoenix Summon. Yeah, you remember the Phoenix Summon. And then when you've activated that, occasionally you will randomly get Phoenix to come and revive all your party members randomly, just like Odin does. It's pretty cool, but it's only activated if you've used the Phoenix Pinion. So we'll probably use it in a battle where somebody dies just to see if we can utilize it and actually get Phoenix to come help us one of these times. That'd be cool. And it looks like our sea level went down again, so we'll have to make that go back up again. Maybe we'll do that in this episode. I'm pretty sure if we check these flowers, we can get something. Those white ones are really beautiful, aren't they? A moment named Rain gave them to me. They bloom beautifully every year. It's fortunate that she's no longer with us. If only she had stayed away from that outsider. Aw, don't say that. It wasn't Laguna's fault. I don't even know what happened to her, but you can't blame Laguna. What did he do? Did he kill her? Flowers bloom over and over. I wonder if people do the same. People blooming over and over? That would make no sense, ma'am. That don't make no sense, ma'am. So anyway, we got two base pieces. We got two more to go. I believe the next one, we'll have to go over here to... this. I believe this is the house that Laguna was staying in. Or no, 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 no. This is Rain's pub. Or I should say Rain's old pub. I don't think Rain runs this place anymore. Still got the white flowers, though. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. It's a very sad world we live in where people live and die. Hey, look, it's Rain. Psych. Tricked uh, some other lady. Hey, who do you think you are barging into my house like this? Get out of here right now. I just wanted to talk to you, lady. Calm yourself, bitch. Just want to say what's up. Wait, what? What's happening? Did you just let light into the room or something? I thought I told you to... Wait, what's with you? Do you remind me? Do I remind you of something? I'm not a ghost or anything, all right? Then again, there are spirits lurking within these walls. Oh, yeah? Spirits that inspire my art. Scares you there for a sec, huh? It's true, though. Often, I would sit in this room quietly, and all of a sudden, sense of mysterious fragrance in the air. There are white flowers downstairs. Can you sense their fragrance? Can you feel their presence? All right. Wait, I didn't want to talk to you again. Shut up, lady. I'm done talking to you. I'd rather go talk to your cat. And I'm not even joking. Okay, let me talk to the cat. Kitty? 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 Wait, do we have to do something else? I thought we were just supposed to talk to the kitty. Oh, maybe from the top side. The front side doesn't work. Don't bother the meadum. Who said that? What's wrong? Is that lady speaking for her cat? Cats can talk too. Quit talking for your cat, creepy lady. Um, is that it? I thought we're supposed to. Does the lady give it to you then? No. The fuck? I thought we were supposed to. Huh. There's, there's more to this. I thought we're supposed to... I'm just like mashing the fucking confirm button right now because I thought when you talk to the cat, you get something. Maybe... Maybe I'm tripping? Maybe I'm tripping? Time keeps on slipping, tripping, slipping into the future? No, seriously. The cat is supposed to give you a vase piece. What the fuck? Cat! I need the vase piece. Give it. Give it. Give it. How do I? How do I? Hmm. Hmm. I want the thing. How do I get the thing? Is it in the cabinet? Maybe. I don't fucking know anymore. I'm. I'm confused. Is it fair enough to be confused? I think it's fair. Kitty, you're supposed to give me something. Why aren't you giving me the thing that I want? The thing that I so desire? Why? Fucking cat. Okay, fine. Don't give me a piece. I'll just kill you later. <sighs> maybe we have to go in and out of the house. Maybe that's not the right cat. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe, 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 maybe. Don't call me maybe. 
All right, so this is the house that Laguna was staying in. Let's see if there's anything cool on the mantle. There's no picture. I wonder if someone took it. Maybe Laguna. Durr. Or maybe Elone. Anyway, it's pretty much how they left it. Oh, and there's a secret Kiraga draw point. That's pretty sweet. You know, I just realized nobody has freaking draw on right now. I took off draw because of the damn King Tonberry battle. I wanted to make sure I had Phoenix Downs at my disposal. Now we're good. All right. Anyway, we can save it here if we want. We don't need. I have a feeling this is going to be a shorter episode. I kind of felt like it when I got uh, when I got here to this place. Because I knew all we had to do was this little short side quest. So I'm kind of trying to take my time, just look around. Last thing, last place to go is actually this big mansion up here. So let's check it out. And there's some suits of armor and shit everywhere. By the way, if you're going to do the side quest that I'm doing right now, you have to have Quistus in your party. I probably should have mentioned that. My precious face is missing. The face that has been passed down in my family for generations. So many unusual things happening lately. I bet you there's a ghost here. Oh, yeah? That broken piece, my ever-so-precious face, now in such pathetic shape. Oh, well. I'll have to glue the pieces back together. Let me know if you find any more pieces. Well, I will. I think there's two more pieces, but I'm not sure. Looks like there's a leg over here to the armor. Anyway, I'm sure if we check, I'm pretty sure if we check out this armor once we've started the quest. I'm looking for my feet. Have you seen my feet? Quistus, cut it out. <laughs> oh, you knew? Yo, man, quit joking around. It ain't funny. Oh, it is funny. <gasps> it moved, Zell. Ghosts. Shit, and it looked at you. Hilarious. What the fuck? Could you not walk? You're a fucking suit of armor. Please don't. That's fucking pet. Just what? Why? How? Oh, there's a baby chicka bow in it. And look it. He dropped a piece. A piece of vase. Yay. Now, let's see if that's all of them. Because maybe there's only three. But I thought there was four. Let's double check on that. Oh, great. You found some more. Hmm. All we need is one more vase piece. One more vase piece. Okay. Well, I was pretty sure the cat gives it to you, or it's in the room with the cat, you know, and the lady and the cat. So we'll have to double check that. Let's make sure there's no other places with a cat before I freak out about it. Let's have us up, little girl. You can't get me in here. Na 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 na. No, you cheated. Stop it. No. What's up, lady? Oh, hello. I've never seen you all before. Are you here to buy flowers? You see these flowers in the casks? I grew all of them. Aren't they pretty? Totally. They're beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. How did you do it? I hate flowers. Originally, we were opposed to letting outsiders into our village, but I'm glad we hired those two guys for security. Before they came, the kids couldn't even play outside. Yeah, see, before, remember, there was always monsters here, and we had to fight them with Laguna and Kiros. Now the town doesn't have any monsters, because I know I don't have the Encounter None ability on. Nope, I don't. I'm not cheating. There's just no battles here. Lucky me. Anyways, the fucking cat. I know the cat is supposed to give you the goddamn piece. How the f do I get it from the kitty? Kitty, quit being difficult. Is my controller just not letting me activate this shit or what? Maybe I gotta talk to her one more time? Maybe I f***ed it up? I don't know. I don't know. How come the cat didn't spit the piece out when it talked to me? Maybe it did, and maybe it's on the ground and I didn't see it. I don't know. You'd think that you'd be able to see it, though. That wouldn't be fair. Can we just, like, please talk to the kitty? Kitty! Kitty, 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 kitty. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna talk to you, kitty. I got something. I got a bone to pick with you. <sighs> Where the hell is this piece? I know it's here. It's gotta be. You don't happen to have another kitty, do you? Shit, where's the last piece? Maybe I'm supposed to check the flowers downstairs? Oh, there's a person. Oh, rain's behind the motherfucking. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's what I didn't activate. There's your fucking cat. Kitty, give me the goddamn vase piece. You will give me the vase piece, kitty, or I will destroy you. There it is. Good lord. 
Ah, uh, I knew there had to be a hint there somewhere. The lady said, look at the white flowers. I was like, God damn it, that must be it. I didn't write that in my notes. I should have. My notes basically just say talk to the lady, so... Anyway. That's the last vase piece. Woohoo! Yay for winning. We get a holy stone. Woohoo! I think we already have ten of those. Right? Yep, we just got another one. Yeah, that's a side quest, and all it yields is one motherfucking holy stone. Yep, that's all we did it for, guys. We did it all for the one holy stone. Don't you guys feel accomplished? Don't you feel accomplished? I know I do not. All right. So, yeah, I said this was going to be a short episode. I really don't have much else I plan on doing in this one. I guess at the very least what we can do is head to our next destination for the next episode. Because I don't want to get started on the next one because I think the next one will be its own episode as well. Like, it'll take up an entire episode to do the next stuff. But it won't take... Actually, I don't know. Maybe the next episode would take, like, a really long time. Like, will it take more than 30 minutes? That's my thing. There's a lot of... There's going to be a lot more talking in the next side quest. So I'm almost tempted to actually go to the next quest right now. I guess I could just go ahead and say it. We've already been there before. we got to make it over to Shumi Village. Which is, I gotta go north from here. Actually, we can just start heading that way now that we're past the bridge. Uh, I don't want to fall off here yet, actually. All right, we're good. We'll we'll get there. We'll get there in due time. In fact, we're gonna pass right by Dalit on the way, aren't we? Yes, we are. Hey, Dalit. Oh, we can't fit through there. Lame sauce. Why you gotta be such a fat ass, Blam Garden? Huh? Huh? Can we fit through here at least? No. Aw, we gotta go around the long way? Ooh. Trials and tribulations of my life. My life is so hard. My life is, it's so hard. It, 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 it's so hard. My life, it is so hard. Yeah, it's so hard. So hard, so hard. My life, so hard. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. We need to go up to here. To the place where Shumi Village is, because that is the next thing we are going to do. In fact, we're getting pretty close to, I won't say we're going to be pretty close to done with side quests, but we're getting there, we're getting there. I mean, we're going to do the Shumi Village stuff, and then after that, Chocobo Forest stuff, and then that's it. That'll be all she wrote. That'll be it for the side quest mania that we have been doing. It's actually not as long as a side quest trek that, as I thought it was going to be, but the Chocobo Forest thing is going to take a while. The Shumi Village stuff, I mean, it all takes place here in Shumi Village, but, yeah. Anyways, here's Shumi Village. So, that's going to pretty much wrap up this episode, but first, let's fight a random battle. I was also going to say, let's first go ahead and do one more seed test since we went down a level. Anyway, at least we're fighting a new enemy. Here's the Mesmerizes. These guys, aw, oh, come on, man. Odin, why you got to ruin the fun? See, this is why you, sometimes you don't want to get Odin early on in the game, because he'll come in and ruin your fun. I feel like every time I fight these motherfucking mesmerizes, I get Odin. I remember the first time I ever saw Odin do his thing, it was against these mesmerized guys. I was like, wait, oh, that's what Odin does? I thought he was just a regular GF or something, you know? Anyway. We still get pretty much the same thing for beating him. We just don't get any mesmerized blades, which is what I wanted. Anyway, what I was gonna do... I was gonna hit, I was gonna hit up another one of these seed tests since we got three left to do. So let's get down to my seed list here. Okay. Back to the game. And yes, I will take the level 28 test. Here we go. A higher speed stat fills the ATB gauge faster. Yes. You can remove Doom with Isuna. I don't think you can. Maybe Dispel. Magic attack means attacking with any type of magic except for holy magic. No, magic is magic and it's always magic. No magic removes Doom. Oh, okay. I guess you can't remove Doom. Pain inflicts poison, silence, and darkness on enemies, but sometimes not all three statuses change will occur. This is true because those are all three separate status changes. Staying at the hotel removes status changes and restores all HP. Yep. You can stop Squall's Renzo Kukin by pressing B2. Can you? No, you can't. It always happens. Sorry. Double or triple lets you use the same magic multiple times. I believe this is a duh. Petrify wears off as time passes. Nope, you gotta use a soft or whatever other magic you can use. Using soft while petrifying won't stop the countdown. Uh, no. Wait, what? 
I, that's a weird, weirdly worded conf question, but at least I understand it. Anyway. All right, well, that was easy enough. That's another one in the bag. Um, I don't think we really have anything left we can do in this episode, then. In the next one, we'll go to Shumi Village and uh, meet what Norg used to be or is or, I don't know. We'll learn some more about Norg. Put it that way. See you guys then. Peace.